As classroom teachers, I'm sure you are very well aware of the fact that many of our students have a tough time moving beyond rote memorization and onto a true understanding of arithmetic. This lack of true understanding comes back to haunt our students when they then try to apply the ideas of arithmetic to solve problems of the world, as well as when they try to move on to algebra, which after all is nothing but the arithmetic carried out with, uh, with letters rather than definite numbers. How can we help students to make the transition from rote memorization to true understanding? Well, the last 30 years of work by education professionals have shown us that the use of physical devices can help students a great deal. By working with physical devices, students can touch, feel, manipulate, and thereby gain an understanding that is much deeper and more intuitive than one that results from manipulating symbols with paper and pencil. Digiblocks are designed to emulate our number system. Because the number system is so simple in conception, so are the digiblocks. Indeed, they consist of blocks of size 1, 10, 100, and 1,000. What is novel about these blocks is that the large blocks are constructed from smaller blocks. Therefore, if we take the block of 1,000, we can open it up, and when we do so, we will discover inside 10 blocks of 100. If we now open the box, which constitutes the block of 100, we will find inside 10 blocks of 10. Finally, we can open each one of the blocks of 10 and reveal 10 blocks of 1, or single blocks, inside. This construction of blocks within blocks within blocks enables students to grasp the most fundamental idea of our number system, namely the powers of 10, that the building blocks of the number system are 10, 10 times 10, 10 times 10 times 10, and so on. Let me try to demonstrate the power of this idea in a simple example. Let us consider 43 minus 15. Now, for children in the lower grades, this kind of exercise may pose some challenge because it involves the concept of regrouping or borrowing. Let us see how, with the aid of digiblocks, even very young children will be able to execute this assignment physically without any instruction or help from grown-ups. We have here 43 blocks and our objective is to remove 15 of them and see what remains. Well, we'll naturally pick up the three single blocks and one block of 10, remove those, but then we'll be confronted with a difficulty which is we have three blocks of 10 and we need to remove two single blocks. Having recognized that the blocks can be opened, we will simply open a block of 10, pick up two single blocks from the inside, remove them, and we're done. The solution to the problem then stares us in the face. It is 10, 20, 28. All the steps we went through were driven by the necessity of the problem itself. They were not steps that were taught. For example, we opened the box because we needed to get hold of two more single blocks. It was as simple as that. Think now of a child who has not executed just this one problem, but has in fact executed 10 or 20 or 100 of those. A point will come when we can challenge the child to tell us in advance what the result of the physical operations might be before he or she executes them. By working with digiblocks, children will gain not only an understanding of how the algorithms of arithmetic work, but what is the reason that they work as they do, and connect them in their minds to the physical definition of the operations, which is the key step required in order to apply the operations of arithmetic to problems in the world. What I hope you will find in working with the blocks is that your students will enjoy working with the blocks 
and that they will gain a profound intuitive understanding of the four operations of arithmetic and of the structure of the number system through a process that's going to be fun, challenging, and interesting for them.